Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion in fundamentals of surveying. For this video, I am going to talk about the error of closure. As every one of you already know, there is no such thing as a mathematically perfect survey. The small errors in both distances and angles will always be present even in close traverse observed using instruments and methods of high precision. In all probability, a surveyed close traverse would not satisfy the geometric requirements of a closed polygon. Until adjustments are made to these observed quantities, it will always be expected that the traverse will not mathematically close. So when a close traverse is plotted on paper, the survey must close on the starting point. So the closure must be affected not only graphically but also mathematically. For a closed traverse, this simply means that the algebraic sum of the north and south latitudes should be zero and the algebraic sum of the east and west departure should also be equal to zero. However, this condition is true only in theory. It is seldom true in practice because of the inherent errors in the measurement of the angles and distances. It will always be expected that the last course will not end exactly on the starting point. Although it closes physically in the field, it will not close mathematically or when plotted on paper. So we have here the linear error of closure. A linear error of closure is usually a short line of unknown length and direction connecting the initial and final stations of the traverse. Okay, let me plot here a uh, closed polygon basic uh, basic uh, okay so a linear error of closure is basically uh, if this is our uh, observe for example uh, we have here a very small line we have here a very small line you know, uh, between the starting station and the final station hindi eh. siya mag close so merong maliit na linya dito na uh, to close the gap between the two, the starting and the final traverse line. Okay, this is the li linear error of closure. And for the linear error of closure, uh, the distance, the distance of this very small uh, distance there is equal to the square root of CL squared plus CD squared. CL is the closure in latitude. The closure in latitude is basically the difference of the north and south latitude. Okay? Itong CL, this is the correction in latitude. Diba? Sabi natin, uh, kapag pinag-subtract natin yung north and south, or basically we sum, kasi negative yung south, diba? If we get the sum of the north latitude and the south latitude, dapat maging zero to close the polygon. Okay, kapag hindi naging zero, the difference is CL. That's the uh, closure in latitude. CD naman, on the other hand, is the closure in departure. Ito naman yung difference uh, kapag pinag-add natin yung uh, east departure tsaka west departure at merong gap, hindi nag-zero, yun yung closure sa departure. So that's CD squared. So to solve for the length of the linear error of closure, we just get the square root of uh, CL squared plus CD squared. This is coming from your uh, Pythagorean theorem. Kasi eh, for example, yan yung line Ito yung line. Ito yung linear error of closure. Yan. So, meron tayong uh, ito is your departure. Ito naman is your latitude. This is your CL. This is your CD. Okay. So, to solve for the linear error of closure, we just use the Pythagorean theorem. So, we come up with this formula. Okay. And to solve for the theta, uh, the theta is the bearing angle uh, of the side of error. Okay, this is the bearing angle of the side of error. So tangent theta is the closure, negative closure in departure over the negative closure in latitude. Okay, so uh, 
your theta is measured uh, as the bearing angle of the side of error okay and if we want to solve for our relative precision the relative precision is solved by taking the ratio of the linear error of closure to the total length of the traverse okay so we are uh concerned with the total length lahat lahat na ng length ng traverse okay that's lec over d okay those are the formulas that we need to know for us to solve or to close itong traverse natin the linear error of closure okay let us try to solve some problems okay given in the accompanying tabulation or the observed data oh, for a closed traverse obtained from a transit tape survey determine the following quantities latitude and departure of each course linear error of closure bearing of the side of the error and the precision of the measurement tabulate observe computed values accordingly okay so first uh, we know how to solve for the uh, latitude and departure already right so but right here we are given azimuth from north okay if we are given the azimuth if you're given the azimuth from north, the trick here is we just get the cosine of whatever angle is given. Okay? Kapag azimuth from north ang given na angle para makuha yung latitude, i-multiply na lang natin yung length times the cosine of whatever angle dito. Okay, we do not mind the, the sign anymore kasi yung sign na ibibigay ng sagot natin, yun na yung sign ng ating latitude. Okay, so for example, if we multiply 233.10 times the cosine of 122 degrees, uh, 30 minutes, uh, it will give us an answer of negative. Okay, ibig sabihin magde-negative yung latitude natin dito. Okay, so and on the other hand, for the departure naman, diretso din, diretso na sine of this angle. Hindi natin titignan kung north or south ba or east or west ba. Okay, this is only true kapag yung given na angle natin is azimuth from the north. Okay? Okay. Uh, isolve muna natin yung latitudes. Okay? So, we have uh, latitudes. Okay, for latitude AB, oh, basically this is 233, kagaya ng sinabi ko, uh, we multiply na lang natin yung distance by the cosine of the given azimuth, cosine of 122 degrees, 30 minutes. So this is equal to negative 125.24 meters okay so we do the same for the remaining lines so for latitude bc uh, we have positive 20.04 meters for latitude uh, cd uh, 191.50 meters times the cosine of the given angle 20 degrees so we have positive 179 Point ninety five meters for the latitude of line DE. We have two hundred thirty four point forty six multiplied by the cosine of three hundred thirty three degrees thirty five minutes. Uh, we have positive two hundred nine point ninety eight meters, and for the latitude of uh, EF. Uh, we have 270.65 cosine of 254 degrees 08 minutes. We have negative 74.00 meters. And finally, since this is a closed traverse, uh, we have FA. Okay, so for latitude FA, 252.38 multiplied by the cosine of 213 degrees, we have negative. 
66 meters. Okay, that's our latitude. Okay, for departure, Okay, for departure AB, we have 233.10 multiplied naman by the sine of 122 degrees uh, 30 minutes. Okay, for, for departure of AV, we have positive 196.59 meters. Okay. Okay, we do the same for the remaining. Uh, we just multiply the distance by the sign of the given azimuth. So we have departure of BC is equal to 242.05 multiplied by the sign of 85 degrees 15 minutes. We have positive 241.22 meters. For the departure of CD, uh, we have 191.50 meters multiplied by the sine of 20 degrees. That's positive 65.50 meters. For departure of DE, we have 234.46 multiplied by the sine of 333 degrees. Uh, I don't need to write that one. Uh, 234.46 multiplied by the sine of 333 degrees 35 minutes. So we have negative 104.31 meters. And finally, for the departure of, uh, we still have two, departure of EF. We have 270.65 multiplied by the sine of 254 degrees 08 minutes. That's negative. 200, uh, 260.34 meters and finally for the departure of FA we have 252.38 meters multiplied by the sine of 213 degrees we have negative 137.46 meters okay so that's it i know for the latitude and departure remember you can all only do this yung derechong uh, cosine and sine na lang of that angle when the given azimuth is from the north okay kapag from the south ang given na azimuth hindi pwede ito okay so kailangan from the north yung azimuth okay next we need to determine the precision of the instrument so to do this uh, kailangan muna nating i-adjust okay kailangan muna nating i mean kunin yung linear error of closure di ba kasi we cannot solve for the we cannot solve for the relative precision if we do not know the linear error of closure okay so the linear error of closure is given by the formula balik tayo dito cl squared plus cd squared so we need to compute for CL muna and CD. Remember, CL is the difference between the north latitude and the south latitude. Okay, so uh, we need to get the sum of this. Okay, hey, dito na lang. Tapos dito na lang din mamaya ito. Okay, so dito, we just need to get the sum. Okay, take into consideration yung mga signs natin, ano? So, that's negative 125.24 meters. 20 plus 20.04 plus 179.95 plus 209.98 minus 74 minus 211.66. Okay? So, the... This is our CL. This is the closure in latitude. Okay? So the CL is uh, negative 0 0.93 meters. Okay? So we do the same for the departure. So neg positive 196.59 meters plus 241.22 meters plus 65.50 meters 
minus 104.31 meters, minus 260.34 meters, minus 137.46 meters, and we come up with CD equals, this is the closure in departure, equals positive 1.20 meters. Okay, take note of the sign. So we have now CL and CD. Now we can compute for the linear error of closure. Okay. The linear error of closure, LEC, is equal to, I don't need to write the formula, no? I direct na natin yung substitution natin. This is CL squared. We have already computed for the CL. Our CL is negative 0 0.93. Our CD is positive 1.20. So that's uh, negative 0 0.93 meter square plus that's positive 1.20 square okay our linear error of closure is therefore equal to 1.52 1.52 meters so that's the linear error of closure okay remember uh our latitude, our uh, closure and the latitude is negative, 0 0.93. Our closure at uh, departure is positive 1.20. That means to close, we need uh, 0 0.93 to the north and negative 1.20. Uh, I mean, this is to the west. Okay. So that means our... Uh, tangent of theta uh, we don't need to solve this but let uh, let me just solve it the tangent of theta is equal to uh, negative CD over negative CL okay so this is our from our formula so that's negative uh, CD is 1.20 so positive 1.20 divided by negative CL is negative 0 0.93 so this is equal to negative 1 point something okay but we come up with theta should be equal to uh, theta should be equal to 52 degrees uh, 13 minutes okay so this is uh, basically if you want to draw ano, if we try to draw yung linear error of closure the linear error of closure is uh, 1.52 meters tapos yung bearing niya since ito ay uh, positive yung kanyang departure tsaka negative yung kanyang latitude ibig sabihin kailangan ng uh, to the uh, west 1.20 to the west okay so 1.20 to the west tapos 0 0.93 to the north okay para mag close okay 0 0.93 ibig sabihin nandito yung linear error of closure natin pa ganyan okay nandito yung last point hindi siya pumunta dito sa starting point natin so ibig sabihin kailangan natin ng 1.20 uh, pat uh, to the east tapos 0 0.93 pa to the south para mag-close yung ating uh, polygon ng ating traverse okay so ibig sabihin itong 52 degrees 13 minutes nasaan anong saang angle ito okay this is northwest okay so ibig sabihin this is going to the north tapos west itong angle na to yan Okay, that is our theta. Or positive. The portrait. Pwede din dito, ano? Yan. Okay, kasi parehas naman yan. Theta din ito. Yeah. Kasi positive na departure, negative downward naman na uh, latitude. Okay, so yan yung theta natin. 
All right. So, san tayo? The, we are computing for the relative precision, okay? So, the relative precision is just equal to the linear error of closure divided by the total distance, okay? The total distance. The linear error of closure is 1.52 meters, pero we do not know the distance yet, ano? So, the distance, the total distance is just equal to yung sa given figure na, okay? We get the sum. We get the sum. Okay. Find the sum of these. The sum should be equal to approximately equal to 1424.14. Okay. 1424.14 meters. So that's our total distance. 1424.14 meters. So our linear error of closure is 1.52 meters divided by the total distance of 1424.14 meters. So our relative precision is 1 over, uh, this, this is 936.93. Okay, so we can actually round this off to 1, uh, let's say 1 over 900. Okay, so that's our relative precision of the instrument. Okay, and finally, let's tabulate the result. Okay. Good. So this is our table. Uh, this is our usual way of presenting our computed values in a table. So we have the line, the length, the azimuth. These actually are the given. And then we have the latitude and departure and the last four columns separated by the north, the south, the east, and west. Okay, so that's it for the error of closure. Uh, I hope let us have some more example on error of closure later on. Okay, so if you have any question, do not hesitate to ask. I will see you in the next video.